Why do we do size survey? Behind me, there is an air cooler. As you can see, there are many components. The motor, the pulleys, the belt, the shaft, the fan, and obviously the bundles. So why do we need to do that? Along the time, the parts can get damaged, worn, or be replaced. For example, the maintenance could replace the pulleys. The fans could have been replaced in order to, to improve the performance. The bundles can get fouled or corroded. So when you are looking for higher performance or when you need explanation about the low performance, you need to understand what is on site. You cannot trust only the drawing or the data sheet from your office, especially after 20 or 30 years. You need to do on site and you need to check. Now why is it so important to do a size survey? There are many different issues. It could be falling, it could be internal falling, it could be sleeping belt, it could be bad efficiency of the fan, a low motor load, there are many, many explanations. If you base only your study on the papers, on the data sheet, you will miss all this information. If you do a site survey, we will do some infrared camera, for example, so we'll find out that there is some internal falling. And if there is some internal falling, there is no need to replace the fans. It's very important to do a site survey to, to target what is the real issue. If you contact only a fan supplier, it will tell you that the fan has to be replaced. If you contact a bundle manufacturer, it will tell you you need to replace the bundles. Us, we are an overall manufacturer, and because of the site survey, we will know what is the issue and how to improve. And like this, we will not do something useless for you and for the air cooler. So how do we proceed? The site survey is divided in two steps. Step number one will be the mechanical inspection. You need to switch off the fan, you need to isolate the fan, and probably to prepare some scaffoldings for us to access to the key components. So what we will check? We will check the drive, meaning the belts and the pulleys, check the alignment, we check the belt tension, we check the belt condition and pulleys condition. We'll check as well the fan, the pitch angle, the tip currents, the position of the fan in the fan ring. For all the components, we check the condition. If there is any grease, if there is any corrosion. We check as well the bundles. Is there any corrosion, bent fins, any falling, in, is there any corrosion on the plenum, any holes, any air leaks? And also to prepare the installation, the next modification, we check the diameter of the shaft, we check the position of the fan, we check the diameter of the fan, we check all the parameters that will help us for the installation. The second step is the performance. We will check the airflow, that's the most important, to compare with the data sheet, with the design. We check the airflow thanks to anemometer. We check the static pressure, meaning the pressure drop through the bundles with a manometer. We check the fan RPM to compare it with the design, with a stroboscope. And we check as well the temperatures process. And we will use an infrared camera to check if there is any internal falling. Thank you.